On today's episode, the boring company's giga tunnels have begun, the robo-taxi reveal is coming soon, Tesla superchargers move even faster, and the company lights up Korea. The Boring Company has been assembling a state-of-the-art tunneling machine since mid-January at Giga Texas, and now they've officially launched the Proofrock 3 on its latest journey underground. This machine is predicted to build a 1,000-foot-long tunnel about 15 feet underneath the surface in two to four weeks. It's going to run underneath a toll road known as the Pickle Parkway and connect Tesla's delivery lot to their general assembly area at Giga Texas. It's going to be the first real-world application for Proofrock 3, which we've already seen complete a small test tunnel at the Boring Company's Bastrop manufacturing site. The Boring Company has said on its website that Proofrock's medium-term goal is to exceed one-tenth of human walking speed, which is seven miles per day. This machine will not be moving anywhere near that fast anytime soon, but the more tunnels that the Boring Company dig, the more they learn and the faster they improve. We have been theorizing that this may be the first of many tunnels at Giga Texas and that as the factory ramps up towards their full volume production of the Model Y, Cybertruck, and RoboTaxi, that a whole network of underground roads will be used to send fully autonomous vehicles that drive themselves from the manufacturing floor to the delivery lots. It's an ambitious theory, but would be a huge upgrade for Tesla and the Boring Company. Anyway, despite the ongoing struggle with digging speed, the Proofrock 3 makes up for it in its porpoising capabilities, which is what we are looking at right now. In the context of tunnel digging, porpoising refers to the ability of a machine to be able to launch from the surface, burrow underground, and emerge at the end of the tunnel. This removes the need for deep launch pits, something that the Proofrock 1 and other machines like it needed to get the digging started, and makes the excavation process much more streamlined. With the Proofrock 3, the Boring Company can potentially show up to a digging site and get their machine to work within 48 hours. Again, we've yet to see that in real life. Proofrock has been hanging out at Giga Texas for months now before it actually broke ground. Like its predecessors, Proofrock 3 will be able to dig continuously with only the cutting heads needing to be replaced once they wear out. If nothing else, we consider this Giga Texas tunnel to be good practice for the Boring Company as they prepare to tackle their largest scale project yet. As most of us know, they already have approval from the city of Las Vegas to build an underground loop network that will connect the entire downtown core of the city and operate as a new public transport system for tourists and the locals. As part of the agreement, the Boring Company is going to dig out 25 miles of tunnels, which when added to the already existing convention center loop, will make for a 65 mile long project with 69 stations. Nice. Elon Musk has announced that Tesla's new robo-taxi vehicle will be revealed on August 8th. It's probably not a coincidence that this promise was made on the same day that Reuters published a report about the cancellation of the 25k Tesla Compact, also known as Project Redwood, but this is a much bigger topic that we'll cover in our next video. The robo-taxi is a next-generation self-driving car that has been a part of the Tesla lore for years now. It was really born at the company's Autonomy Day presentation in 2019, when Elon Musk said that there would be 1 million robo-taxis on the road by the end of 2020. Those were fun days. According to Walter Isaacson's approved biography of Elon, this car is going to be Cybertruck-like in its appearance, and the book contains one photograph that appears to show Tesla chief designer Franz von Holzhausen standing next to an early mock-up of the vehicle. At Tesla's Cyber Rodeo opening party for Giga Texas in April 2022, Elon announced that Tesla was beginning development of a dedicated robo-taxi that is going to look quite futuristic looking. Tesla's self-driving capabilities started being implemented in models built since 2016, but there has yet to be a fully self-driving Tesla. The closest we have achieved is FSD Supervised, which is the latest evolution of FSD Beta. It is a single-stack, end-to-end neural network-based driving AI that uses billions of miles of real-world data to replicate the driving behavior of humans. The good driving behavior, of course. Elon has recently said that there have been 1 billion miles driven with FSD engaged, and even revealed that Tesla has spent $10 billion on the development of their autonomous AI system that includes all of the high-powered computers, data pipelines, and video storage. 
none of that investment can truly pay off until the robo-taxi network is up and running. This has been a long road for the company. The idea of fully self-driving cars has been promised to investors by Elon since 2015. In that year, he said Teslas would be fully self-driving by 2018. In 2016, Elon also promised that Tesla would send a self-driving car on a cross-country trip across the United States without human intervention. Despite the many setbacks and doubts on how little human intervention will be needed for the robo-taxi, ARK Invest analyst Tasha Keeney said that while current self-driving on Tesla vehicles may be imperfect, she said she's confident that the technology will advance greatly within the next five years. A report by Reuters recently came out that Tesla had scrapped the development of the Tesla Model 2, a car designed to be an affordable option from the company, to focus on the robo-taxi program. What we still don't know is the actual release date for the robo-taxi. It could be sometime between the unveiling and the rollout, hopefully not as long as the gap between Cybertruck and production. Definitely not as long as the wait for the Tesla Semi or the next generation Roadster. Tesla has revealed that it can now deploy prefabricated superchargers in a game-changing four days. This is the time that it now takes between the delivery of the prefabricated V4 charging hardware to the worksite and getting the system operational. In order to accelerate its supercharger installations, Tesla started building prefabricated superchargers a few years ago at their much less known Gigafactory in Buffalo, New York. In 2022, the automaker showed that it could build a 12-stall supercharger station with that factory production line in just eight days. Now, it looks like Tesla was able to optimize its prefabricated supercharger units with Supercharger V4 to now deploy a new station in just four days. Tesla makes concrete slabs with holes and conduits for the cables and install the supercharger stalls and cabinets on them at the factory, drastically slashing the installation time at the site. The automaker is currently greatly accelerating its supercharger deployment in order to support the growing number of people using the charging network as it opens up to non-Tesla EVs. Tesla owners in South Korea put on the largest synchronized light show in not only the country's history, but the world. Over 1,000 Tesla owners gathered in Suwon, a city about 18 miles south of Seoul, to participate in the event. This makes it the largest synchronized light show ever and the biggest one put on by Tesla since the company introduced the light show feature in 2022. The previous record was held in Helsinki, Finland, where 687 Teslas lit up the sky back in November 2023. Of the things formed at the Suwon Light Show, the convoy of Teslas made the Tesla and X logos, spelled out words like Korean Light Show 2024, Tesla, and Me Heart You, and even depicted a driving car and other kinds of animations. All of this while the lights alternated between white and red, keeping up the pace of the event. Oh, and the event was also attended by a special guest, a dancing Tesla bot. These light shows are possible with the advanced computers found inside Tesla cars that communicate between each other and a free downloadable software called X-Lights. Through the app, you can download a pre-made light show off of the internet, which comes not only with a synchronized light show, but it's also in sync with accompanying music. If you have the time and creativity to make one yourself though, it also allows you to customize your very own show. With that said, Tesla does recommend you use music that you own the rights to for such an event. The show in South Korea was already pretty impressive, but there's currently an even bigger one being planned by Tesla itself. The X Takeover, formerly known as the Tesla Takeover, is an event taking place in July at the Madonna Inn Fields in San Luis Obispo, California. There, the expected two to 3,000 attendees will put in their part to contribute to a light show, which is a massive step up from the 170 cars that put on at last year's Tesla Takeover. But get this, the light show can still get even bigger. The event is still selling tickets right now, with them costing between $40 on the lower end all the way up to $250. But the event is limited, so if you want to participate in breaking this record, you'll need to get registered as soon as possible.